Hello, this is your SWS Drinks Auto Order launch pack. I'm going to take you through in some detail, but don't worry, you'll have the slides to be able to refer back to as well. Uh, so quickly going over the timeline, you'll be aware that about a year ago we launched the handheld count devices uh, to assist in being able to do remote counting. The Auto Order Drinks has been live from October and still going live obviously now. Um, and that's uh, now live across the whole of restaurants and premium division. And then real-time counting also across restaurants and premium division. That's where you get the live data feed from your tills back to SWS, meaning that you can count products throughout the, throughout the day, uh, any day of the week. And then Prep and Thor or Prep and Par, you may know as um, several different uh, um, systems are under trial and the hope is that we'll have those live for the summer 2020. And then there's an SWS upgrade planned for this summer, later on in the summer, which hopefully will bring the look and feel of that system up to something similar to Team Plan. And so um, the, the main objectives of this is, number one is ingredient availability for guests to maximize your sales and guest experience. So we always have everything in stock and you'll always be, be able to do the premium upsell. And then probably more importantly for you is this should improve the, um, the efficiency of the whole stock process and reduce the amount of time it takes you to, to count your stock, uh, order your stock and throughout that whole process. So um, just a really quick bit of information about what the trials and pilots have shown so far. So pilot sites have been an average of 10% seen an average of 10% increase in ingredient availability. Food has seen an average increase of 15% availability. And drink ingredient availability is at an average of 89% across all pilot sites. And then I won't go through them, but you can see some of the feedback received from some of the sites that uh, were live in the early stages. So a quick view of how it actually works. So the calculation for the order is your sales forecast and that includes a safety stock and I'll explain that a bit further uh, plus your display stock minus the stock you have on hand already minus any orders you've got currently placed and then the variables for that are recipe adherence receiving orders till accuracy and wastage so those four things need to always be done as accurately as possible to ensure that the automated order is as accurate as possible as well so how do I make it work even better? So a little bit more information. So the forecast, so review and adjust your SWS forecast on a Sunday for the coming week and the following two weeks. We recommend setting your SWS forecast to match team plan. So that's your sales forecast. And then the other new thing is your display stock. So ensure your display stock is reflective of what you need to show in your fridges and displays. And there's a bit more information about that further in the presentation. And then stock on hand, complete your counts accurately and in line with brand schedule utilising the smart stock device. And then receive your orders accurately and on the day they are delivered. Moving on to recipe adherence, so ensure your teams are producing drinks to spec to accurately deplete stock. Receive your orders accurately and on the day they are delivered and monitor any stock adjustments. Ensure your team process orders correctly, no more cross ringing. And then process waste timely, so correctly and consistently. The smart stop device will facilitate this. So all of those things at the bottom, including in the new process, will ensure that your automated orders are as accurate as they possibly can be. So how to adjust your SWS sales forecast. From SWS main dashboard, you click on the new My Stock Forecast. The default start date will set to the current date, not the week's start date. So click on Smart Stock Forecast and the gross sold amount equals total net sales so food and drink sales excluding that as per your team plan forecast so the recommendation is that you edit at daily level and review regularly throughout the week obviously because the more accurate it is the more accurate your um, scheduled orders are going to be to so review your forecast weekly to match team plan for the next two weeks to influence your next trade team orders so how to add your display stocks? The system will account for front of house stock for displays and fridges when placing orders. So from the SWS main dashboard, select my stock plan, click view results to view all products or edit the category and supplier to fil filter to specific items. 
and then edit the actual minimum quantity to reflect the amount of display stock required. Your auto order will always take this stock into, um, into account until it is amended or removed. So as an example, if you've got 12 bottles of Peroni in your bar fridge that you always want to have on display, then enter 12 into the stock plan screen. If you had another 12 on display, then you just increase that to 24 so that you never go into your display stock to sell to your guests. And what you see on the stock plan screen is your own site level drinks range. So it's not the brand, it's your site specific. Just make sure you keep your display stock up to date so when displays change, change or you add new products or you have drinks range changes, just make sure you continually go back in and make sure that's as up to date as possible. So reviewing your auto order, so how to access and review your auto order. So from the SWS main dashboard, select my orders. You no longer use the master order workflow for trade team orders. Select the draft trade team auto order by clicking the PO number and then review the order and amend the quantities as required. Select view auto order calculation to look at all products. This shows the calculation for all orderable items. So at any stage you can add to, remove from that order if you wish to um, and if you don't need to then great it's working absolutely perfectly. So when is your auto order generated? So at 9am the auto order runs and at 9.15 the auto order is available to review and edit. So if you're unable to run start of day, auto order will run based on the last polled day sales. So you will need to edit your order to take into account sales since the date data last polled. Auto order will generate a forecasted amount of stock to order based on forecast, including any amendments you have made in a just forecast, adding on five days of safety stock as a buffer. So you'll always have five days of additional stock on top of what you'll ever need. So effectively, that makes it to um, 12 days of stock. So orders can be can only be amended on your order day, therefore no manual orders can be placed prior to this anymore as you will receive two orders if you did that. So amending and submitting your order, when should you amend your order? So 9.15 till 4, between 9.15 and 4 you can edit your order ensuring to save as draft. Either manually submit or the order will auto sub be auto submitted at 4pm with any amendments that you have made. SWS will order what your site should stock as per the brand stocking policy. So your first trade team or auto order may include items you haven't previously ordered if you haven't been sticking to the brand stocking policy previously. So have a look at that now and make sure that you are aware of things that may turn up. You can amend volumes for each line, but you should also consider local events, e.g. local festivals, car scales and rotational draft lines won't appear on your order pad. These will need to be added via select items within your draft auto order, simply because there's no history for those products, so the system won't know that you need them. In the very rare event that you do not require a trade team order, you will need to zero all items, then add no order required thank you from selected items and add one into the quantity box effectively what would you would currently consider as a, a null order. So setting up for success, the key things that you need to do are brief your team, make sure that all your ASNs are received in, clear any outstanding purchase orders, transfer um, transfers are completed both in and out, complete stock counts as per the brand schedule at all times going forward, make sure your wastage is recorded and recorded accurately, Make sure all till sessions are ended and accounts are closed. Run end of day on SWS and brief your team. Probably the most important thing, anyone who has anything to do with ordering your stock, particularly drinks at this stage and in future food, uh, make sure they're aware of these changes. And then a little bit here on getting ready for food auto order because that will be coming soon as well. So in spring 2020, we're rolling out auto order for all food suppliers. That's um, now going live with premium in the next couple of months so we're a few months off for you guys um, to prepare for this the areas you and your teams must focus on counting as per your brand schedule producing the dishes to spec wasting correctly and consistently receiving orders accurately on the day they're delivered and accurately processing guest amendments voids and refunds on the tills so effectively 
as always with SWS, if you put rubbish in, you'll get rubbish out, and that includes your orders once you get to auto order. So the message for both drinks and food are do all of those variable things accurately, and you will have the most accurate order you possibly can. And there's some key notes and support here. Um, these will all be on the file that we get sent to you. Um, thanks very much for listening. And like I say, all of the slides and a full brief will come to you on the MMB app system. Many thanks.